Hi, I'm Gray, and this is Hub Guitar. We're going to do a quick lesson on the intro to Jack Johnson's Banana Pancake. So if you're a beginner to the guitar, I think this is an awesome little bit to learn because you have a little bit of a riff, which is sort of a melodic part, but you've also got some chords in there. So it's a, it's a really nice little uh, practice for both your chords and your melodic or sort of scale-based playing, two things that you want to get into right away. So here we are. We're going to start with our ring finger on the 5th fret of the biggest string, that's the E string. And we want to use our ring finger because we're going to end up on the 7th fret. And after that we need to have a note on the 5th fret of the next string. So if we use the wrong finger, whoops, we're just in the wrong territory and nobody can go over here and reach the 5th fret of the 5th string. So we're going to start with our 3rd finger on the 5th fret of the biggest string. And play that. And then we're going to slide up to 7. So if you're new to slides, don't worry, it's pretty easy. If you can close a sandwich bag, a Ziploc bag, then you can do a slide on the guitar. Just imagine you're closing that bag, you're gonna squeeze it and move across. But you've gotta do it a little bit faster than you might close the sandwich bag because otherwise you're gonna hear independent notes there. You don't really want the sound of multiple notes in a slide. You wanna just hear this sort of, this destination note. If you're getting some buzz when you're doing your slide, that's probably because you're undershooting it and you're ending up too far left of the fret. Or, so you can hear that buzz sound. If, if that's not it, it may just be because you're not pressing hard enough. So third finger, slide from five to seven, practice it, and then get your index finger onto the fifth fret of the fifth string. Repeat the note on the seventh fret of the sixth string, and then go down to the fifth fret of the sixth string, down to the third fret of the sixth string, Throw in an open E string, and then we're going to do another slide from three to five. That's what we do to end that riff the first time around. So all together. Now when I do that second slide, I actually also like to use my third finger because I want to be in this open territory because here comes an A minor seven chord. If you've learned your A minor chord, you can use that. An A minor seven chord is uh, starting on the fifth string, open fifth string, second fret of the fourth string, open third string, first fret of the second string, and open high E string. Do not play the low E string. That will sound a bit weird. So that's the opening part. The second half is almost exactly the same, except we have a different chord at the end and also we, we change the riff very slightly. So the second half goes like this. Same, 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 same. And then instead of sliding up from three to five, we just land on the third fret of the sixth string and keep it there. Bookmark that fingering for a minute because we're gonna talk about that a little bit. Basically, the chord that's coming up, we want to sort of recycle. We want to make sure that to play, when we're playing the next chord that it gets to continue using this finger because we don't want to push this down and then let go and then put another finger there in its place. It's sort of a waste of energy. So bookmark that if you will and let's talk about the G7 chord. A couple different G7 chords you can use here. Um, in the tabs you see on the internet, it's probably going to be a bar chord, but I didn't want to throw that in there because that would make this go from a beginner tune to and more intermediate tune, and I think this is a great tune for beginners. So we're gonna do an open G7 chord. The chord I like to use here is uh, gonna be third fret of the sixth string, nothing on the fifth string, third fret of the fourth string, open third string and open second string, like that. The issue with that chord is as a beginner, now you're responsible for controlling these strings and making sure that the fifth string and the high E string are not allowed to be a part of that chord that would sound a bit wrong. The way you control that is you, if you're playing with your fingers, which I am, you can use your thumb, index, middle, ring, and, and just sort of pluck those three desired strings. If you're using a pick or you don't want to do that, you can sort of allow your left hand to block off the strings that are not allowed to ring, which includes the fifth string. You can see that my middle finger is sort of less resting lazily on that string. And then part of my hand is sort of touching the high E string. That's called fret hand muting and it's considered more of an intermediate or even advanced technique. So if you're having trouble with that, that's fine because we're gonna substitute it for another more beginner friendly G7 chord. So this is probably a chord that you've seen already if you've studied some of the books that teach the basic open chords. 
I, I tend to avoid it just because I, I don't like to play a lot of chords that use the high E string, uh, but it works well for this. We're gonna do our third finger on the third fret of the sixth string, second finger on the second fret of the fifth string, open, 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 and first finger on the first fret of the high E string. And that's another way to play G7. Whichever one you choose, just make sure that the finger which you need to be on the third fret of the sixth string is also the one that you end that riff with because we don't want to waste our effort. We want to get up and, and switch fingers. That's a very, very important principle of good economic guitar playing to commit to memory now is that if you can reuse a, a motion or reduce the amount of times you've got to move your fingers around, you're going to be better off usually. So that's all for Banana Pancakes. Practice slowly and get the, the simple but fun tune under your belt and it will be the foundation for more to come. Thanks for watching.